Good evening once again guys. Um, okay, just wanted to go through an electrically held switch um, interface to the VR Superbug via Superscript. So um, this would be the um, this is a demonstration of the uh, electrically held switch module that I've written. And um, this is using both a um, input card, which is this one here, which is the IO cards um, master card, uh, which is connected to the PC via USB, via the USB um, IO cards module. Um, and on the output side, um, this is my um, UDP based um, Arduino, uh, which I have demonstrated before for enunciators. Uh, but in this case I'm using it to drive the relay or the coil in the uh, electrically held switch. Um, so that's being driven, um, it's got a USB connector in it purely for power, nothing else. Um, the actual communication from Superscript is uh, derived via UDP, um, via the Ethernet cable you see connected in there. Um, and uh, basically that drives this uh, relay driver board. This relay driver board uh, basically connects the main uh, power supply voltage to the coil via, um, I don't know if you can see them there, the little transistors which are um, obviously in a uh, switched configuration. Um, the power supply I'm using is just a 15 volt little homemade job Built that when I was an apprentice and it's still working many, many years ago. Um, so yeah, this uh, this little circuit board here, it's made by Freetronics. It's a relay driver board, has built-in um, back EMF protection for the coil um, and uh, interfaces straight to the 5, five volts uh, outputs on the Arduino. Uh, so great little board. Um, I find the Freetronics stuff a little bit expensive but I happen to have one here so just thought I'd use it in this demo okay so um, so we've basically got uh, output wired up there that's that data is coming via UDP packets uh, from superscript uh, we've got input here which is basically a uh, you know IO cards emulated joystick um, so uh, and now let's see how it works um, up on the screen here uh, I've got a few monitoring programs up to see what's going on on the I.O. cards. Um, you'll see the diagnostics appear on the um, VRO Superbug as I uh, switch things on and off. Um, and uh, basically we're in a cold and dark start here. So I'm, this is going to be emulating the APU switch. So I've got this all rigged up for the APU switch. And... Uh, Let's uh, give it a fire and let's see what happens. So um, basically I'll just uh, try and, it's not easy holding the camera and doing this all at the same time. So switch on. Um, of course you can see that it will not stay in place because I haven't switched the battery on. So um, you can see the diagnostics here indicating, if you can see that. switch is controlling the uh, APU switch but of course it's just flicking off because the battery's not on. So let's go down to the battery. Um, we'll turn that on. I need about four hands to do this. Okay, battery's now on. And um, of course the battery is um, electrically held, battery switch is electrically held so that triggers the um, electrically held switch output diagnostic which you just saw on the screen there and uh, okay so back to this switch so um, it's basically spring-loaded and um, is held in the spring-loaded position by the solenoid uh, once we've got a um, output from the Arduino here so we'll push that on that's now held we've got an APU start we can see now the diagnostics is um, indicating that the APU solenoid is active. 
um, and we can also see here that uh, the input on the IO cards is on which is basically driving the APU switch um, you can see the uh, relay board here it's got an indicator to show that the output is active so that's that's pretty cool so that's good good to see that, um, that you know you can actually diagnose the board without any too much trouble um, you can see that the outputs live um, okay so now we can start the engines So just get those throttles up there. I'm trying to do this all with um, my left hand, which is not easy. I'm right handed. Okay, so we've got an engine start. See, I haven't got the parking brake on. Brake on. Not good. Um, okay, left engine. As you can see, the um, solenoid diagnostics also indicate the um, outputs for the. Um, engine crank switch as well I haven't got any of those wired up of course I just, this is only for the APU switch I'm demonstrating yeah. APU switch is still locked on ok we'll put the generators on And uh, we'll just wait now for the uh, APU switch to disengage. There it goes. So the uh, APU switch is off in the cockpit there. And it's off there. Now, um, I can flick it back on of course. Let's see it started back up again. And just like a normal switch, you can flick it off too. So now I'm driving this um, solenoid with uh, it is a 28 volt coil on these things. I'm driving this with about 15 volts, um, but uh, 15 volts seems to hold it quite fine. So I don't know if it's any problems with that. Um, and that's basically it. Electrically held switches. Um, as you can see, the um, setup and wiring for uh, these switches is a lot more complicated uh, due to the input and output required for the switch so um, just on a basic simple switch here is a bit of wiring involved anyway um, that's the demo catch us later bye